Did Kylie Jenner start the current cosmetic surgery trends? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, doc audience, here with Dr. Rod Rourke. Rod, Kylie Jenner, everybody knows who she is, and they say she really is responsible for the recent trends in cosmetic surgery, cosmetic medicine, fillers. What do you think? I think it's believable because Kylie Jenner is probably one of the more believable in the Kardashian clan because she not only has done it, but she's also admitted it because her sisters and her have not, you know, Kim and they, she's only had Botox. So I think she's started it without the lip plumper and then she had filler. And of course she's had, you know, potentially other things, the rhinoplasty and all those other things that you know, make up the Kardashian clan. But I think, and also she's a, she's beautiful. She's got great facial features and proportions. She's got great skin. So I, and I think she's been, the biggest thing is she's very believable. And the other thing is it doesn't look overdone in, in most cases. I think the biggest thing is that what happens when teenagers and people, you know, she's a, an automatic mentor and role model is that they look at her and say, I want to be like her. And not everybody can be that way. And also, is she morphed or not? And so they, it kind of gives them a pseudo syndrome of inferiority. And I think that's not necessarily so good for the average teenager to say, wow, I want to look like Kylie Jenner. So it started with the lips. Yes. So once you give the viewers some tips, if they, you know, if they want to enhance their lips, then what, what are the key things? Uh, well, I, I think less is more, you know, and I think, you know, you're, you know, you shouldn't have your upper lip be bigger than your lower lip. I'm except that, except in baboons and orangutans, you know, and giraffes, you know, the, humans shouldn't look like that so it should look natural and I think it shouldn't look overdone and and, and I think that's the start and then of course the, the nasal features should match the, the face and she's got very porcelain type skin and I think overdone fillers of the cheeks is also distracting I think less is more in, in somebody that wants to stay and look attractive because it's obvious you know that you know, they've had things done so she's i think been a little bit more open and forthright about it and i think that gives her more credibility i just wish that you know kim would do the same because she keeps talking about i just had botox and you know <laughs> the other things are getting smaller too from you know <laughs> a lot of other body parts but but you know kylie's at least admitted to it and i think being a mom has been a big factor. She's talked about that, that she doesn't want her daughter to think that she's not somebody who's real, which I think is a good thing. So I, I think kudos to her. So I think, you know, for your kids, you know, try and have role models that, you know, leapfrog above the Kardashians and, you know, that it's not necessarily reality, Bill. All right, Rod, well, that's great stuff, but you're gonna really like this new video on dissolving fillers for new reasons.